everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So if you guys like something simple yet makeup and glowy, then keep watching. So let's begin the Max Factor tutorial. So I'm all ready with my hair behind. I don't have a much of Max Factor products. So I have the illuminator, I have uh, the mascara, the foundation and the contour kit the cream contour and two eyeshadow palettes so i'm gonna start with the eyes first i am gonna be using both these shadow palettes so this is how one looks you guys can see it clearly this is how one looks and the other one's the rose gold palette this is all available on Nykaa. You can check them out as well if you haven't heard of the brand Max Factor. It's like um, the Maybelline of India. So the same way it's the Max Factor is the Maybelline of Arabia. So it's very famous back in the Middle East and uh, it's a good product. They have good stuff as well. Go check them out. So I'm going to start with this palette. I am going to take... Um, fluffy brush and just go with this shade just put it all over here just gonna add that give a lot of color so to this the second shade I am going to take is from the rose gold palette I am taking the more deeper shade here just going to be applying it to the same area this is going to look um, medium glam or you can call it you know when you have your zoom meeting and you want to look a little bit bright but you don't want to look like you are at a party at home so it's going to be something like that I'm just gonna add a bit of it so i've kept it very light i hope you guys can see and to this i'm going to add the shade now so what i'm going to do is use the shade to the top part of my eyelids so i'm going to lighten my eyelids with this shade so that the color is not too much into poppy but so that you can see the shade and you know when you're in your zoom meeting and stuff you want to look brighter you don't want to look like you just got out of bed otherwise i think you're screwed unless you have a good boss do you so let's do that on both the sides make the eyes look a little brighter So you can see the eyes look sort of brighter right now. Good. So to this, I'm going to be using the rose gold palette and I'm going to be using this. So this shade, I don't think these shade have names. No, they don't. So I'm going to be using this shade to the inner part of my eyelid. I'm going to be using this much of it. And on top of that, I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do. So you can see it is still very light and simple so you can use your fingers if you want a lot of it on your eyes or you can just go very light with the brush so maybe i'll show you with the fingers so i've taken this on my fingers and just dab it in dab, 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 dab. So I'm not going to put it everywhere. I'm just going to put it from this end to this end so that it's seen. I haven't painted my nails. I'm keeping them all raw for a while. See, You can see it's light and not a lot. You can uh, have this um, makeup done. Even if you're going out, it doesn't just need to be a zoom call meeting you can keep it however you want you can you know maybe add up a little more glam as well but since we are in a mode where only 30 percent of people are going to the office and remaining of us are remotely working 
I thought I will show you guys this trick of looking brighter from our home. So there you go. I have added in some shade. Now to this, I am going to be adding another color. So now to this, I'm going to be using the same palette again. And I'm going to be using a mix of this one and this one. First, I'm going to start with this, a little bit of this shine. And I'm just going to be adding this to the ends of my eye. So that, you know, it shows a little bit of definition. I'm going to keep it very light. And um, light because it's a Zoom meeting. But if you want to go hardcore, you can go with that as well. It's totally cool. It depends on what sort of meeting you're having. I am going for a look which is going to be very light and no eyeliner and stuff like that. So, you know, you got to keep it simple. But it is your choice again. So I'm just going to lightly dab it so that it doesn't look too much. Hope you guys can see it. It's lightly dabbed. And now, in circular motion, you just build a little bit of dimension. Okay, so we're building that. Why I like doing my eyes first is because if there's any fallout, I can just brush it off. I don't want to, you know, spoil my foundation. I know there are different methods to it as well, but I like mine like this. So you can see a little bit of color. I'm not putting a lot of it, just a little. If you want, always don't miss to do this. See that you get your eyes done the way you want. This is my style of keeping it light, simple and fun. I'm gonna do it to the other side as well. Circular motions, tap it very mildly. can see here it's very mild it's tapping very mildly so you can see the eyes are done it looks simple yet glam to this i'm going to be using the voluptuous false lash effect mascara by max factor so this is how the bristles look like and let me just take out this extra I'm not going to be using any eyeliner today. I I don't have a Max Factor eyeliner, so who cares? I'm not using it. I'm going to be home all day, so I don't think I need to be wearing eyeliner. So I'm going to do this the other side and get back. So the eyes are done, the mascara is done, and now I am going to be using the compact powder. You can see I'm already hitting pan on this. So I'm just going to add a little powder under my eye to just brush off all the fallout. Well, with this, I do it with a lot of pressure so that, you know, it just comes out. If you hear all the extra sound, that's my watchman's kids and they make a lot of noise. Please forgive me for that. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Facefinity All Day Flawless 3-in-1. This is a primer, concealer and foundation with SPF 20. I am in the shade Warm Nude 48. I don't know if the shade matches me anymore, but let's give it a try. And uh, for the brush, I am using the regular Kabuki brush from BH Cosmetics. So I'm going to pump a little bit of this on and just apply if i look too fair please don't laugh at me guys let's apply the foundation oh god i'm gonna look too fair i think i'm gonna wear all of this and get back so i've applied the foundation so what i did is i was looking too fair with that shade and that's the only shade i have from max factor so i blended it in with the brush and then i used my beauty blender and to this i am going to be using the compact powder i hope i don't look like a monkey after this whole session is done so i'm just gonna use a light hand and just brush it all over so that the foundation sticks in it's 
so okay okay i don't look weird it has balanced out so usually if you have a foundation shade which is a little fairer than your skin tone you can you know uh, use your regular brush and use the beauty blender and then just use um, your regular face powder not the white face powder translucent better or the face powder in your own shade which will make it look more you know sober down and simple and better you don't want to make bad mistakes so now for contouring i have not used this palette before i am going to be using this and god bless me so i'm going to be using this shade so that you can see this palette has a lot of shades i'm going to be using this one i'm just going to take a little bit of it okay i really need to a lot la 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 okay so i've taken some of it i'm just going to be using a light hand at this because i don't want it to look too much and keeping in mind this is still for a video call so you know you don't want to look like you're partying at home you need to look like you're working so let's just keep it light so this one's a little hard but you can go ham on this and it's darker now and just you know blend 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 you can see that blending 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 so yes that you can see the shade i'm going to do it both sides and come back so the light contouring is done to this i am going to be using the medical duo illuminator let me show it to you guys so this is how it looks so i'm going to use the creamy part of it just a light hand and give it a little bit of highlight you don't need too much of anything in this i'm just going to keep it very light very simple maybe a little bit on my nose to look a little shiny a little bit on my chin i need to look glam but not so glam so we keeping the light look i'm going to add a little bit of this to the cheekbones so you can see you can adjust it the way you want guys i've kept it very very simple and you want you can you know even do that to make a little more of shine so you can see i've kept it very light the look is extremely light now if you want you can again go ham with some powder but i'm not going to do so i am just going to comb my hair now and get back so this is how the final look is and now we know you're ready for that video so i hope you guys like my tutorials on the max factor palettes um do share comment subscribe and also follow me on instagram it's saviona fernandez and show me some love